blood vascular system now in in the animal world for the first time blood vascular system is seen in case of annelids prior to annelids when we see nematodes there is a pseudo silomic fluid which acts as circulatory system so, so there is no separate circulatory system in case of nematodes in case of lightworms platyhelminthes there is there is no coelom a coelometer and the function of circulatory system the transport of nutrients or transport of waste it will simply occur through parenchyma by diffusion so in all animals just prior to annelids they got their own mechanisms for transport of substances but a separate circulatory system has come into existence in true coelomates that is because a mesoderm is present associated to the gut and the gut is surrounded by muscles and the digested food cannot easily enter into body cavity by diffusion so a separate circulatory system is required in true coelomates now in the blood vascular system we have got two basic glands one is the open type the open type of blood vascular system now say the pumping organ called heart has pumped the blood through blood vessels the heart has pumped the blood into blood vessel from blood vessel the blood has come into sinuses sinus sing sinus means empty space one or many sinuses again through some other blood vessels the blood is brought back to heart so blood is pumped away from blood vessels and taken into with the help of different blood vessels in between the blood vessels there are sinuses empty spaces which are filled with blood in the sinus when the blood is present very close to the sinuses there are tissues so the sinus is that empty space filled with blood which directly bathe the tissues so you can see exchange of gases the oxygen is taken and carbon dioxide is brought back so this type of circulatory system is called as open type of blood vascular system it is seen in case of leeches in annelids one group leeches you will see open type of blood vascular system it is also seen in all arthropods it is also seen in mollusks it is also seen in echinoderms it is also seen in hemichordates it is also seen in eurochordates open type of blood vascular system is seen in one group of annelids there are three groups of annelids only one group the leeches you will see open type all arthropods without exception mollusks except one group called cephalopoda all other groups of mollusks complete echinoderms and hemichordates and eurochordates you will see open type of blood vascular system the second type is closed type of blood vascular system in closed type from the heart there are arteries the arteries the arteries carry blood away from heart and arteries divide into capillaries they divide into capillaries now from capillaries again this capillaries combine together and forms veins and form veins 
Near the capillaries, you can see diffusion of gases, diffusion of nutrients. And you can see entry of waste material and carbon dioxide. So blood with carbon dioxide is again coming back into veins. This is the oxygenated blood, this is deoxygenated blood. The heart is pumping oxygenated blood through arteries. Blood vessels which take blood away from heart are called arteries. It generally contain oxygenated blood and nutrients. The arteries will divide into capillaries. And near the capillaries, there is exchange of gases, oxygen given, carbon dioxide taken, nutrients given, waste are taken, and again the capillaries which combine together to form veins. Veins generally contains that waste material as well as carbon dioxide. It is coming back to heart. Now this is a closed type. There is no open type there as like that. So even capillaries from the arterioles and venule end, they are closed with each other, they are not open, no sinuses are generally present. It is called as closed type of blood vascular system. It is seen in Cephalopoda. In Mullers, there is one group, the most advanced Mullers are called Cephalopods. In Cephalopods, there is a closed type, it includes squids, cuttlefishes, where you can see advanced type of circulatory system. And you can also see closed type in cephalocardiata. Vertebrate and all other analytes. Leeches, I told you leeches contains open type. All other analytes except leeches, closed type of blood vascular system. And in case of mollus, cephalopoda. And uh, in case of chordates, the first group, urochordates, open type. The remaining two groups, cephalochordates and vertebrates, it is closed type. So totally closed type is seen in all analytes except leeches. And only one group of mollus called cephalopods. And uh, cephalochordates and vertebrates of cordates.